All right, problem 40 off the math subject, GRE practice test. Kind of a fun little problem, I guess. S is the set of all functions that map the reals to the reals. And what we are doing is considering two binary operations, one that looks like plus sign, the one that looks like function composition. And they're defined to be, sure enough, pointwise addition and composition of functions using these rules right here. Which of the following statements are true? So essentially, this is asking you, is function composition commutative? Because this is function composition. Hell no, it's not commutative. Um, I don't know. Let's let f of x equal x squared and g of x equal 2x, maybe? That should do the trick. Then f of g, let's write it in the other notation, f of g of x would be taking this guy and putting it into this guy. So I would be rewriting this function, but everywhere I say an x, I replace it with this 2x thing. So I get this 2x being squared, whereas g of f would be this guy, except everywhere I see an x, I replace it with this x squared guy, so it's 2 x squared. This is 4 times x squared, whereas this is 2 times x squared. They're not the same. Function composition is not commutative. There's one of many, many examples that will show you that that's not true. Uh, what about the left distributive law? Um, that's not going to work out either. Let's see. An easy way to prove this would be if I include a third function. I think I can use these same two guys for f and g, but let's let h of x be equal to, um, I don't know, just a number, 1, sure. If h of x just equals 1, I think that'll be enough to make this work as a counterexample. Uh, f of g plus h, g is 2x, h is 1, so really it's asking me what is f of 2x plus 1. Well, f of 2x plus 1 is taking that 2x plus 1 thing and squaring it. Uh, okay, is that the same as, where do I write this, up here maybe, right here, f of g, well f of g is f of 2x, which as we saw earlier is 2x squared. Uh, what about f of h, f of h is f of 1, if I take 1 and I put it into x squared, I get 1 squared, aka 1. Uh, so f of 2x plus, so this thing is not the same as 2x squared plus 1. If you foil this out, you get 4x squared plus 4x plus 1, whereas here you only get 4x squared plus 1. They're not the same. That does not hold. Uh, the third one, however, does hold. I wonder if we need to even figure that out. Uh, which of the following are true? That can't be your answer. Uh, I guess you do have to figure it out, bummer. Uh, right now, I don't know if my answer is A or C. All right, so I do have to figure out whether this is a true statement or not. Turns out that it is a true statement. Uh, the reason it's a true statement is because of the way that pointwise addition, so really all we're doing here, when I ask what's f plus g of x, is I'm just taking this input x and I'm putting it into the f function and then get my answer and I'm adding that to what I would get if I put that input into the g function. So what if that input itself of the function is another function? Well, that's, that's totally fine. All I have to do, let's write it using this notation here. I got g plus h of f. Um, so I'll write that like this. I do g plus h of this function f of x. All right, so g plus h of f is really just asking me what would happen if I put this thing f into this function g plus h. So it's asking me this right here. Well, going back to my definitions up here, g plus h of some input is just equal to g of that input plus h of that input. And I know I'm saying the wrong letters. I'm saying the letters that would correspond down here. This would give me g of f of x and plus h of f of x. And g of f of x, that's just saying uh, g of f. And I guess you can put in the x's if you feel like it. Uh, and then h of f. And so note that g plus h of f is the same as g of f plus h of f. That's exactly what this statement right here says. This is a true statement. So the answer would end up being C.